Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are back with another edition of the Minuteman Gear series, where we continue to explore the, the gear and gear setups that the modern Minuteman should have. So, today we're gonna talk about a 24 hour pack. Now, uh, I would like to preface this video with two things. First thing is, earlier in the series, I think like the second episode of the series, we talked about this exact same bag. And at that point, I had it set up as kind of my three day ruck. I had some more pouches on it, I had some more stuff in it, and I had it overstuffed for a three day run that I just barely, by the skin of my teeth, could make it work. Uh, however, I have since moved to a Crossfire DG3 bag, which is a little bit bigger, has a frame, carries the weight phenomenally well, and eventually I will update the series with that bag and kind of my current three-day loadout. Uh, I'm just waiting on that because I want some more time on that bag because I'm going to do a review of it at the same time. But uh, I think in general, my made-up opinion, you should have a good three-day bag that you can kind of go out and rumble and tumble for, you know, three-ish days, maybe more. And then you should have a good, smaller 24-hour bag that you could basically get through you know, the rest of the day, overnight, into tomorrow a little bit, and be able to carry enough stuff to be able to make it through those 24 hours. So I just ask that if you have been following the series, you're not like confused and think, oh, wait a second, that's the same bag. And I thought, just you have a brain, you're really smart people, I know you are. This is a 24-hour bag. So let's go through what's in it. Okay, like all things uh, on this series, this is just an iteration. I'm sure it will change and would of course adapt as needed. And to be honest, it's not like I've run this one a lot. Uh, I mostly put this together as representative of things that I would have in my 24 hour bag. So first things first, uh, I have magazines because hey, you gotta have bullets. I'm a huge fan of carrying magazines, water, medical, and food on the external pouches as much as possible. That doesn't always work out, but as much as you can, you know, those would be the things that you'd have to just go and grab quick. Uh, so I try to keep those things external when I can. Again, it doesn't always work out, but that's what I shoot for. So four magazines off the back because you have an extra four is always good. Remember, this would be in conjunction with other kit, right? So you'd be wearing a chest rig or your battle rattle or plates or whatever. This would either be stashed in a vehicle as your vehicle go bag or like I said, kind of your 24 hour sustainment bag. But four magazines off the back. These are just pouches for canteens, of course. So right now, you know, I just have the USGI canteen in there. When it comes to bag setups like this, I'm always a big fan of lots of molly so that you can mount more stuff. Okay, coming down here. So here's real simple, right? I just got a notebook for all the notebooky stuff. Uh, marker, couple pens. One of those is a right in the rain Fisher pen. In here, I have extra plastic bags because you never know you might need extra plastic bags. Garbage, collection of other stuff, water, whatever. Just extra plastic bags. And that's it for that one. Getting into the main section of the bag. So this is basically stuff that I have all mined from my three day bag, right? I usually keep my three day bag packed and then I would fill this one as needed. And that's kind of how I work it. So uh, this is just one MRE. Obviously it's representative. It's pretty clear here. I have more room to fit more of those in, right? I'd probably put two or three of those in. But this is just representative that, you know, you need food in the bag. Uh, I put my schmog in here because I always want to have my schmog. Uh, there's a gazillion uses for this by people who are a lot smarter of the way of the schmog than me, but uh, that's here because you need that. <clears throat> Extra t-shirt because you're going to want at least one t-shirt. I think you really only need one for the 24 hours, right? But having a good change of t-shirt will be in there. Uh, underwear. I have a couple pairs of underwear. Honestly, this is what I just grabbed out of my three-day pack, so I think there are three in here. But you can't have too many of those and socks. Always carry extra underwear and socks because those things are what you're going to need to change the most. My socks are up here. Uh, right here, I have more medical. So for here, I just put a uh, Dark Angel IFAC uh, along with a ratchet tourniquet. Again, I prefer to have the medical on the outside of the bag, but that's where it kind of fit pretty convenient on this bag, so that's where it went. Remember, this is in addition to your normal IFAC that you're carrying on your kit. You don't have to have extra medical, but I always just like to because, hey, that's one thing. Bullets, water, medical are things you can never have too much of. In this pocket here, 
This is an emergency bivy. So I believe this is from SOL gear. And this is, yes, this is the SOL Escape bivy. And it's this color, it's this green, and it folds down to this little pouch here. And I like this because this is the only kind of sleeping gear I have in this bag. I do not have a sleeping bag, I do not have a sleeping pad, uh, I do not have anything like that. Again, this is short duration, 24 hours or less, and so this is mostly like if I need to actually sleep uh, or if I need to not freeze to death, this is gonna help me do that, right? Uh, but there's no other sleeping gear in this bag. Again, I'm assuming it's gonna be 24 hours or less. I'm putting on the clothes I got, I'm putting on the kit I got, and this is just if I have to hunker down for a while or there's a really bad rainstorm or windstorm or snowstorm or whatever, this is gonna help me do that. So I have some kind of small emergency type uh, gear in here and also, you know, if I just need, if we got a couple hours and I can sleep, this is what I'll try to use. Again, don't have a sleeping pad so I might be cold, but I wanted to have at least something so that I can make that happen. Because it's a 24 hour pack and or a go bag out of a car, I wanted to try to keep it as trim as possible and I don't want a sleeping pad or other things hanging off of it. So that was the thought behind having the escape baby. Down here, I have wet wipes because again, can always need, you always need wet wipes, carry lots of wet wipes. In general, I don't have like a hygiene kit in here, right? Like with a toothbrush and all that stuff because again, much shorter duration. So this is actually the lid off of my DG5. And I just took the entire lid off and threw it in here. One, because I have the space, I don't really need to like be super try, trying to trim things down. But two, and more importantly, it allows me to organize all the little things that I carry in my other bag that I would also need in this bag. So things like paracord, right? Here's a brand new unopened 50 foot hank of paracord because hey, you need that. Uh, an extra antenna for my radio because I carry the big flop antenna and sometimes I want to swap out to the little one. Uh, extra CR123 batteries, an MRE spoon. Here's just some extra duct tape that I have wrapped around an old hotel key. A lens cleaner thingamajig because you need that for your glasses, your optics, your night vision, whatever. More C123 batteries because you don't want to get run out of those otherwise you're going to be in a world of hurt. A red Sharpie because you need Sharpies. That's all on this side. Flipping it over to the top. Chem lights because having extra chem lights is always good. A couple zip ties and a couple bungees just for other gear stuff. A orange little signal flag thing. So this is just for signaling in case you needed to have some kind of identification panel. You know, you could have one of those full fold out VS17 panels or whatever, but I just have this. A beanie because you always want to have a little hat to be able to throw on in case you get cold, no matter the time of the year, because even in the summer it can get cold at night and this can save you. Okay, that was all in the top part here. Now we'll go to the second one. And in here, remember earlier when I said I don't have like a little hygiene kit? Well, I lied. Uh, I do have some mouthwash. I do have some uh, body powder because that's important. I do have chapstick because that is also very important. And then I have tape. Uh, I have general athletic tape. Can never have too much of that. And then this is a tape for getting blisters, cuts, stuff like that. This stuff is super sticky. Uh, this is Luco tape is what this is called. I've used this before. This stuff is fantastic. Does its job very well. Very tough to come off. Uh, and if you put it in sensitive places, like if your legs are rubbing together and you put it on the inside of your thigh, when you take this off later, you will cry. Fun story. I have a headlamp because you can never not need a headlamp. Uh, this of course is, I just have the red lens in there right now because again, if you're looking in the pack or you wanna read your map or whatever, having a red headlamp is always a good idea. So that is it, that is my 24 hour bag. Uh, this backpack, in case you're wondering, this is the first tactical, I believe this is their 24 hour version. Love this bag, think it's super cool. It does, it is Velcro lined on this side. So if I wanted to get Velcro pouches and put things in here to better organize, I could totally do that. Again, just to reiterate, I do think you should have a good three day bag and that you should then leech off of to create your 24 bag as needed. You don't necessarily need to have duplicates, although hey, if you want to, you can. This is America, knock yourself out. Hope that was helpful. Hope that gives you some more ideas 
for how you should set up your sustainability kit and different variations you can have. Do brave deeds and endure.